Hi, me again, and just a very quick one for you this time, because I'm thinking of making this a series on the channel, you know? TV licensed propaganda in local newspapers, because there seems to be a lot of it at the minute. And my theory on this is that one of the PR agencies that worked for Capita and the BBC, I think that is six or eight, I can never remember, but they employ multiple PR agencies, and these PR agencies reach out to small local publications and debt charities and local community organisations and things like that to enforce the narrative that you must have a TV licence. And there's been a lot more stuff in local newspapers enforcing the fact that you sounds like you must have a TV licence. All over the shop. All over the shop. Have a look at this one. Croydon woman slapped with record £500 fine for watching TV without paying licence fee. Record £500 fine. In all their letters, I've got every letter you've ever sent out TV licensing, and you say you can have a fine of up to £1,000. And I'm always telling you, it's very rarely given out. And I get a few emails from people saying, that's nonsense, why would they say a £1,000 fine if they're paying? The average fine is, what was it, 170 quid at the minute. And that's the BBC's own figures. The average fine is 170 quid. So a record £500 fine is still nowhere near the £1,000 max you can get. And let's say this woman had been license free for four or five years. She's up on the deal. Not that she should have got it, but we'll talk about that in a minute. A resident of Croydon has reportedly been fined close to £500 for watching television without having paid for her license. Nice propaganda there. You know, that, that enforces the narrative that you must have a TV license if you watch television. So that's good. That's helping our fight here, isn't it? Not. Londoner, and I've removed her name, and I've properly removed her name this time. I did one of these last week and I got ripped because I forgot to remove the name from the thing. I did blur it out after the fact, but YouTube's tools didn't work very well, blah, blah, blah. So I apologise for that. Won't happen again. So Londoner, removed her name, was ordered to cough up £459 during a hearing at Stratford Magistrates Court held on the 8th of June after it was established that the watcher, her TV without holding a proper licence. Who writes this nonsense? The fine includes a £220 outright fine. I told you it would be 500 quid, didn't I? Costs that amount to £205 and a £34 victim surcharge. I not, never understand what these victim surcharges are. And yet again, I'm going to remove it, but yet again, and I know it's public knowledge because it was on the court papers, right? But it doesn't mean that publications like this have to do it. Look, at the bottom line, I've redacted it out. But it's got her full name and the road she lives on in the town she lives on. How is that okay to do? Does that make you really angry? It makes me really angry indeed. It really does. So let's talk about this then because she's got caught watching TV without a license, taken to court, and now she's got fined for it, right? And this kind of story is the exact reason why I get so much grief off strangers every day saying, if you own a telly, you must pay for the license fee. Stop scrounging off the rest of us and pay what you're supposed to pay on what you owe. And it's not true. If you don't watch anything as it's being broadcast, or use BBC iPlayer, you don't have to pay for the licence fee. But let's say you are watching stuff you shouldn't be watching without a telly licence fee. I don't condone it. I never have. I never will. I play a straight game and I preach people to play a straight game, right? But let's say you was doing it. How would they know? So many people out there believe they have detection equipment. It's not blooming possible in today's day. You know, think how many ways you can possibly access live broadcast TV. Not just through Freeview, but through multiple different Sky services, multiple different streaming services. You can use VPNs. You've got all this gear. It's not possible for them to detect what you are watching. The only way you could be caught doing something you shouldn't be doing, and you shouldn't be doing it, the reason this woman was caught is because one of the goons, the door-to-door -door salesman, knocked on her door and intimidated her. So many people think they have some kind of powers, that they might be police or they might be bailiffs or they might be something important. And they admit to doing something. And sometimes people admit to doing something they weren't even doing just because they're scared and then they end up with this fine. So that is the only way this person was caught. There is no other way. They knocked on the door, they intimidated her, she talked to them and then she got in trouble. And they probably still got their commission for this because they got her into trouble. And that's how this happened. So this is why we preach the thing that you don't have to have a television license if you don't require one. And it's okay to do that. You're not scrounging, you're not doing anything wrong. You're just not. And the papers need to let people know that. And then my job is to let people know that 
if you don't pay it, even if you're playing a completely straight game, these goons might come and knock on your door and try and demand money with menaces. And they are nothing special. They are door-to-door -door salesmen. They don't have any powers. And if you just open a door, as you normally would, as your house, you don't have to be a prisoner in your own home, do you? Feel free to open your front door. You say, hello, who are you? Hi, I'm from TV License. And you go, no, thank you. And you close the door. They can't keep pounding on it. They can't put a foot in the door. They can't do any of that. They might ask you to sign something. Say, no, thank you, mate. Not signing nothing. Go away. Shut the door. And they will go away. They're door-to-door -door salesmen. If this person did that, she wouldn't have had all the stress of this event and the financial burden that has now been put on her. All right, maybe she was watching something she shouldn't be watching, but they wouldn't have known that unless she told them. But I don't condone it, remember that. I don't condone it. Now, I'm starting to see more and more of these stories. And the sad thing about it is they're publishing the full name of the person and the, the street and the town that they live on to publicly shame them, to enforce the narrative that you must have a television license. You know, you're scum, you're this and that. You know, she's going to get picked on on the street, she might be shamed. For what? For what? It's barely a crime. It shouldn't be a crime. Absolutely ridiculous. And I'm starting to see more and more of these, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, because if you don't, maybe a goon will knock on my door and ask me why. You never know. Ta-da.